Welcome Pisces. Okay, so we are going to get a message for you using postcards from Spirit, Whispers of Healing, and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, Pisces, let's get into it. Alrighty, so Spirit, what would you like to say to Pisces? One postcard for Pisces, please. Pisces. Spirit is just sitting through the mail, Pisces, to find your postcard. Just one moment, please. There it is. Flipped up. Love it. Oh, Pisces. Beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the one I've used for the thumbnail. I was wondering if it would pop out, and here we are, our lucky last. Okay, Pisces, here it is. Dearest, wonderful you, to help you manifest a life for the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all your desires, no matter what kind, like magic sea pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reaction from reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply, and are so happy to support you. Oh, that is awesome, Pisces. Wow. Very cool. So, hey, there's something inside of you scratching at the surface, and there's a bit of fear there, maybe. Let's have a look. Let's have a look into this here, Pisces. Dearest, wonderful you. I just love how they start their postcards and finish them off and everything in between. <laughs> okay, so what else do we want to say here, Spirit, for Pisces, please? Tell me more. Tell me more. Give back. Aha. Give back here, Pisces. I love it. You know, well, I knew there was another one to come. Give back. Here we go, Pisces. This is the thing, right, is that when we, when we hold within us those things that are, that, that keep nagging us to come out and we hold them down and we hold them down, oh, no, I haven't got time, oh, no, I can't do that, um, you know, and we find excuse after excuse and and the fears come up and, and we allow them to rule us. We are not giving what it is that we have come to give. We are not giving what it is that the world needs, that the world requires of us. You know, and so, yeah, whatever that may be for you, I think that for some of you, you know, because there's this thing that has been nagging you. Um, for others of you, you may not know what that is, okay? And um, what we've had pop up here is turning in. So if you don't, okay, there's two messages here. So if you know what it is, and it's scratching at you, and it's nagging you and pulling at you, then you need to turn within to quieten all the self-doubt, 
those those negative beliefs that are holding you back okay those negative thoughts um if, if you're not too sure what it is though pisces then turn in and settle your mind so that you can tap into that settle your emotions and just see what pops up ask the question before you go into that mode ask to be shown you know and if if you allow yourself to settle while it might not, might not come in that moment and even if you do know but you're not sure how to help to make that happen just go within silence everything and ask for the answers ask to be shown and you'll be shown again it might not be right in that moment but then you might see something a bit later on or the next day and it's like want to know how to do this and it's exactly what you asked and it's like oh there's your answer right but also I want to say about that usual instinct and just know um, that you know what, what feels right okay what resonates with you if something feels off don't go in that direction this turning in will also help you tap into that intuition, okay? The other thing I do want to say about this Pisces that's coming up is that just be mindful of other times maybe that you've tried things and this could be where the fear stems from, where it hasn't worked out and it's preventing you now from going forward. And um, when we have something that um, is within us that is there to be shared with the world, we can feel quite vulnerable and potentially quite exposed and that can be daunting. Um, so especially if we've tried before and things haven't worked out. So just be aware of nurturing those parts of yourself that are scared and are afraid and reassure them that, you know, you survived and you got through that and you will do that again. Okay. Um, also friendliness. I feel like this is actually going to help bring bring people together um, and bring people together with you. Um, bring, it's going to help merge your people. It's going to bring your people to you, I feel. Um, like-hearted, like-minded, like-souled people. Your soul family are going to be able to detect you when you are in this mode, okay? Um, the next card we have here is breathe. And I feel like when you feel like you are in a, um, a tumultuous state to breathe, when you feel like the waters are too rough, breathe. When you are feeling like you don't know which direction to go in, breathe, okay, and also, this will also help you to tune in as well, this will help you to dive deep, um, and go in to really settle yourself, okay, um, there's heaps of breathing techniques that you can do, but I would find a technique that you can do in any moment when you feel this um nervousness or anxiety come up because I think what happens is for some of you you bury that um, and it never actually gets looked at as to why it's there and I do feel like you need to look at why it's there Pisces but in the moment it's also important to find a way that can get you through that and it's so funny because I heard of one this morning actually and it's breathing through your nose um, twice quickly and out for a long breath so you're kind of going <sighs> like that so there you go there's, a, there's one for you okay so we've got the full and this here is a new beginning um I feel like this new beginning needs to be purposeful though not just jumping in for the sake of it and um, you know it is about having faith and taking a leap of faith 
but I feel like you also need to kind of take that leap consciously. Not just jump into anything because it's there. I feel like it's important for you to go within and really feel it out, okay? Um, and, and potentially it's the case, Pisces, that you may have leaped too soon into other things before that haven't worked out and maybe that's why um so yeah just take the time again to tune in tune in and and really feel this out oh i love this i love this because this is the next card here completion we've got a new beginning and we've got completion here all in the one so as this ending is happening as this completion takes that place even if it's a good completion and it's you know the cycle's ended and you're ready to begin anew still breathe your way through it Pisces because change is it's a big thing even if it's something we want it can be scary you know it can be scary still and you know if you're starting a new beginning that you also want that can also be scary too so breathe your way through it um be conscious being conscious is also going to help you be aware of your breath, okay? And um, and it's going to help you to stay in the present moment because it's sort of like the beginning of the journey is something that I feel like you want to savor, not just walk into blindly. Like in this particular instance, I feel like this is worth savoring every moment of every step. So yeah okay so next card for Pisces please whoa, whoa, whoa. look at two one hanging off my sleeve there okay so and hidden blessings hidden blessings yes okay Pisces hidden blessings what have we got I don't know what the other card is yet because it's upside down so I'm not going to flip that over yet but yeah, see, I feel like with this journey, it's kind of like um, with this new beginning, it's sort of like there's a, it's like a flower, right? And it's it's being planted. The seed is being planted. It's kind of like having a seed, but you don't know what flower it is. And um, the reason I'm referring to a flower here is because there's a flower. And you don't know what it's going to go, grow into. You don't know what it's going to reveal. This is the thing. Aha! This is where the fear is. You don't actually know what will be revealed. This could be a hidden talent inside of you. And you know there's something, but you're not quite sure what it is. Or well, you, you, you know what the talent is, but you don't know what direction it will take you in. And I feel like, Pisces, it's going to take you in a direction that is beyond your imagination you can't even visualize you couldn't even you couldn't even fathom what what will actually be the outcome of this um it's going to be that incredible and um and for some of you you may even have it all planned out every step of the way but man there's going to be heaps of hidden blessings along the way including in the first step which is why i think i'm getting the message to for you to savor every step to be aware to walk consciously through this journey as conscious as you can be and that's going to be a challenge for you Pisces but every time you feel that you're drifting out of that consciousness stand still ground yourself and bring yourself back and then proceed forward feel it out feel which direction you want to step in every step of the way What's that card? It's upside down. I like it when they land on the floor sometimes, but I also like to know what it is. <laughs> and I have to wait. What's the next card? There it is. It's flipped. Okay. Okay. So let me just get this. Oh, yeah. See, this is the fear here. The politics. You're afraid. You're afraid of getting duped. Um, and... and it could even be that this is the feeling of the fear of the unknown that you don't know. Like when you overturn a stone, is there going to be a rattlesnake there? What's going to be there? 
you know, what's actually going to come out. Um, some of you are afraid maybe of what is revealed about you, that there's certain things that you don't want to be revealed about you and um, or that you don't want to look at about yourself, okay? But I do want to say about that, if that's the case for some of you Pisces, that when you do look at that, it, for one, maybe isn't quite as bad as what you think it will be. Um, and also there's hidden, hidden blessings in doing that. It's going to help you actually expand and flourish a lot more than what you otherwise would have when you're trying to actually hold that down. Okay, um, the other thing is here, this is the other card, is laziness here. <laughs> This always, this is really for me such a Pisces card with this rose-coloured glasses on and pretending to be in the, on the beach and you're really in the kitchen. <laughs> I love this card, Pisces. It always reminds me of you, no matter who it comes out for. Um, but this here, I feel like, is really shattering the illusions. The illusions that you've had in your life, you know, maybe for some of you there's been a bit of this mask wearing and pretending like everything's sweet and going along and yeah, yeah, it's all great and it's all wonderful and and actually there's some things that you're just not actually that, that cool with and um, so being honest with yourself about it, being honest with those around you about it um, and honouring that, you know, uh, because I feel like that's going to allow you to walk the journey not just more consciously but more truthfully and authentically because when we're not being completely honest even if it's just a smidgen then how can we say that the true authentic our true authentic selves are really coming out right um yeah, okay, so transform. Yeah, see, 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 these are the things that you want to keep a lid on. These things you want to keep a lid on. You want to transform them. You want to transform them, but you want to keep a lid on them. So they can't be released at all unless the lid is lifted. And you will know how that applies in your life. Whatever that story may be for you. I feel like it's something to do for some of you with childhood. Yep, we've had sorrow come up here. This is the thing, Pisces, you see. Oh, that's gone down there. Hang on. We can say that we're doing the work and we can say that we're working, you know, like, um releasing things and and don't get me wrong i know it takes time and not everything can be done all at once but i do want to say that um there is something that you're not paying attention to it's kind of like feeling as though oh well if i just do everything else um, that one thing won't need to be looked at because everything else will be taken care of. But I do feel like, um, and this is the thing that maybe got you the most, it may have bitten you the hardest and really injected something into you that was felt like poison. You know, it really did impact you quite greatly. And it's, it's potentially impacted your entire life. Like it changed you. And, um, and and you've kind of kept it to yourself and it's something that maybe you think about only when you're alone but you don't really let anyone else in about it um, or you pretend like it's like it doesn't bother you that much but it does, it actually does but you don't want to dive that deep into it, okay? And this is where I feel like when I was talking before about diving deep, okay? Sometimes all you have to do, Pisces, is breathe. That's all you have to do is remember to breathe. In order to stay alive, you just need to breathe. 
everything else is a choice. And so it's time to change. It's time to change this. It's time to not allow this to have control over you anymore um, because it's sort of like we end up keeping our own selves in this self-imposed prison um, when we try to suppress something and push it down and ignore it. So this is something that um, also is holding you back from bringing up this um, this desire, okay? Um, I feel like you hold, holding back with this desire too is um, you, yeah, there's this feeling of not feeling like you deserve it. Um, and yeah, you know, like, like the postcard says, you might not want that attention on you and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have the attention on you, but it, I think you feel exposed and I think that triggers something for you, something that's happened in a negative way, um, at an earlier time of your life. Okay. But it's, it's time to bring everything into balance now with this change card, okay? And um, be the change. Be the change that you want to see in the world because you do want it. But in order for it to happen, you have to be it, okay? Next card for Pisces, please. Seek seclusion. Ah. Okay, so this could be you needing to I feel like some of you need to go into the depths of yourself to find the parts that you have left lying dormant and this could be this desire <laughs> that you have pushed down and to begin with you may need to do this in private um, you may need to get some sort of assistance though I feel you may need to call on someone to help you bring that out someone you trust or someone safe anyway. Yeah, there's help for you out there. And um, someone who can sort of bring you back onto the well to yeah, bring you back onto the path that you're meant to be walking and walk towards um, brighter days. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of like you've hidden yourself away a bit and um, it's time for growth. It's time to allow love in to let it lead the way. Because it's just this sort of surface thing going on for you to get you through. It's kind of like, it's kind of like just um, walking the walk but not talking the talk. No, talking the talk but not walking the walk. Yeah, just it's it's sort of like gliding along on the surface, but not really um, experiencing the journey, if you like. Okay, so tell me more about sex and seclusion for Pisces, please. Really funny because that was kind of hard to tap into, but I think that's part of you actually have hidden this thing so deeply um, that you're going to have to do some work to tap into it, but I don't think it's going to be as, as as difficult as what you feel it might be. Okay, this does not surprise me that this has come up. I don't know why I didn't just pick it out <laughs> because sex inclusion. Look, this is you walking along. This is you actually, um, Pisces, allowing your own internal light to guide you along the way, tapping into that intuition, doing what you know you need okay seeking out the help that you need and and this is going to help the growth okay you have this you 
this is the thing Pisces right you can do this you can sit here and pretend you're at the beach while you're in the kitchen but the other part of you this deeper part of you is this um, soulful guidance guiding master who can walk along the path you know who can who can blaze the trail for everyone else to walk who can go to where they need to be who can create what it is that they need to be cre to create they can be the leader but it's sort of like you're happy to take the back seat and that is laziness for you because you naturally are this trailblazer right and that's what you have come here to be but um yeah i kind of think that you are, are definitely happy to take a back seat yeah so pisces it's time to take the lead and um and really step into this powerful being that you are okay so one more card here for pisces Um, we've had two cards flip over though, but I think it's the top one. Aloneness. No, it's not. It's awareness. Awareness. Pisces. Wow. Um... I kind of feel like for some of you there's a need to kind of backtrack a little bit um just sort of briefly to go along each step of the way of your your life this so, so far um to kind of connect in with yourself so you can see at what point in your life you sought seclusion so that you can integrate yourself back in to the land of the living because I feel like something happened at some point in your life that you sought seclusion but part of yourself got left there that that part of yourself that needed that seclusion um got left there and you continued forward but part of you has been left back there so I feel like it's about bringing this awareness in as to when that actually happened for you so that you can bring yourself back and be there for yourself. Look at all these cards jumping everywhere. Hang on a minute. Yeah, because that um, that may not seem so daunting for you when you go to bring that forth back into the world. Okay, because you yourself here will be supporting that part of yourself that you bring back in. Okay, and you'll be able to do that as a whole rather than the scared damaged part of yourself that still needs that nurturing and that healing okay um yeah we have abundance here and we also have stress and i feel like this here is um this is so contrasting um and i think it's really important for you to be aware of the pressure that you're under and how that actually blocks this abundance from coming in because there is a feeling especially going back to this turning in card here um it's kind of like see this is the thing here pisces sorry let me just have a look here because there is something bigger here because you've got freaking you've got like Oh, okay, you've got four major arcanas here, but there's such a there's such a massive change coming. There's such a massive change coming here, and this stress needs to be managed, okay, in order to allow this abundance to come through. I think I think Pisces, the reason that I feel that you need to um, become more aware and get more into the present, right? 
is so that you can um, be a co-creator in the change. Okay, rather than letting the change happen by default, that you can actually create that for yourself, okay? Because you can complete a cycle and, and begin a new one on purpose, okay? Um, by using this internal guidance system to lead you, all right? And um, yeah, I feel like in that way that being able to bring yourself out is going to be less scary for you okay and I just want to address this again dearest wonderful you to help you manifest a life for the highest good we invite you to examine your deepest desires imagine all your desires no matter what kind like magic seed pods in a basket glowing with infinite potential Look closely at each one. Yes, yeah, see, this is this awareness. Like, these are all representing each one. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind the wind of change well that doesn't say that about the wind of change but i just made that up anyway your desires count and you are worthy of them they are essential for co-creating your world did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. Love it. So call on spirit. Call on spirit for support, right? Come back and listen to this. Listen to this message for you. Pisces because they have brought this through for you because it is time okay it is time and um, I think you can feel that and it scares you but it's time to go forward and proceed okay I'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye